Hey y'all, this is Sergeant Dan. Thank you for tuning in to Palmetto Edge. Uh, what I have before you here today is the uh, a fairly new one from CRKT. Just came out this year. This is the CEO. Uh, to start out with. Let's uh, let's do some size comparisons. So let's get this one open first. All right, there you go. Uh, size comparisons. I got uh, a few more popular blades here to compare to. There's your Delica, Spyderco Delica. There's your Benchmade 940 Osborne, um, and let's replace the Delica with the uh, Paramilitary 2. So you kind of get a get a feel for the size of this one there. Um, so this one has a uh, excuse me, guys. This one has a 3.1 inch blade in all eight steel. Uh, it's actually something we're going to be discussing here in just a little while is the is the choice of steel for this one. Overall length is 7.5 inches. Uh, excuse me, it's not all eight. Eight CR13 MOV. Uh, but yeah, we'll we'll be discussing that steel here uh, in just a little while. Um, uh, GRN handles, which is glass reinforced nylon, uh, stainless steel liners. Let's see if I can get you a shot on this. And the liners are are milled out yeah you kind of see it right there got three or four circular milled out sections on on the inside of one of the liners um let's see uh stainless steel liners it is a right hand tip down carry only uh, the pocket clip is not reversible not not swappable at all right hand tip down is what you get on this one um Let's see, anything else I can address with this? It's a fairly, uh, uh, the, the blade height here is half an inch. Um, so it's it's a real narrow, real thin blade. Um, so let's see, I think we got all the specifications out of the way. Let's get into the review now. Um, so what can I say about this knife? So far, I've been carrying it for oh, over a week now. Uh, I've been carrying it at work and at home. Um, I love this knife. <laughs> this is a cool little knife, and and at uh, a forty dollar price point, man, it, it's this is you get you're getting a lot here for forty dollars. Um, you know, see, uh, let me put it this way: CRKT. I've, uh, this is one of two CRKTs I own. Other one's this one that just came out this year, which I'll be getting to a review on here before long. Um, and I'll say it this way: I'm I'm not knocking this knife. I like this knife, but I'm more impressed with this one, this forty dollar knife. I'm more impressed with than this hundred and twenty dollar knife. Okay, uh, like I said, not not talking bad about this one. Okay, well I'll get to a review on it before long, but this one has impressed me more. Um, reason being, this thing has no sharp edges on it whatsoever. Everything is smooth and rounded off and even. And I mean, the the scales are even with the liners. There's just there's no everything. Just the fit and finish on this knife is for for not only for CRKT but for a forty dollar CRKT are just exceptional. Um, the texture on the handle, I wouldn't call it rough. Uh, you know, your your paramilitary too. That's that's got a more rough texture. Uh, I mean, the best way I know how to put it is just that it's textured. Let's see if I can get a shot on that for you. Yeah, you see how it's got the. Uh, it's almost feathery. It's it's almost like a feathered sort of deal there. It, and and you can see if you can hear it. I guess you can hear that. I don't know, but it's it definitely has a texture. It has a good enough texture to where you can hang on to the knife. You can hold on to it while using it. Um, the action on it is fast and snappy. It's got a strong detent, so so just every time that's the that's the kind of deployment you get for it. Um, it's got a stainless steel pocket clip. It's a deep carry, so I mean that's real cool. I uh, always like a deep carry clip. And man, talking about the attention to detail, here check this out. You see how 
you see how the pocket clip uh, the pocket clip itself is not recessed down into the the scale here but the screws are recessed into the pocket clip and they have made a ramp on the scale here so that your pocket clip doesn't snag when you're putting it in your pocket I mean if that's not attention to detail I don't know what is and and something like that from CRKT I know I keep putting stressing this but it's just it surprises me it amazes me from CRKT on a $40 knife that's just crazy you're getting you're getting an awesome knife for the money um, let's see uh, I've I've been gushing over this knife now. Let me see if I can find. I I, I have a couple. Well, at least one little. Uh, yeah, yeah, a couple of little complaints. Um, mine didn't come with the blade completely centered. Now it doesn't it doesn't scrub anywhere. It doesn't touch anywhere. But you know, uh, blade's not completely centered. It's it's a little to the to the right over here. Which you know, forty dollar knife, no big deal. You know, um. Oh, I did say earlier we were going to discuss the the blade steel. I know a lot of people aren't fans of the 8CR13 MOV. And, you know, for me, it depends on how much the knife costs. Um, would I pay $100 for a knife with 8CR13? Absolutely not. Would I pay $40 for a knife with 8CR13? Heck yeah, I would. I mean, especially a knife like this. This is, this is just an awesome knife. Um... It does have branding on the blade here. I know there's a lot of people out there in the knife world that aren't afraid, that aren't fans of branding on their knives, but you know you got it on the blade here. You also have it on the pocket clip. So if this thing is sitting down in your pocket, uh, people are the astute observer is going to notice that you're carrying a CRKT. I mean, you know it's it's some minor billboarding there in my opinion. Um, there's certainly other brands that do it much more uh, vibrantly than this. Um, let's see. Uh, let me get into my complaint. Uh, my, my biggest complaint is the deployment. And, and it's not how snappy it is. I love that. I lo absolutely love how snappy and smooth. And, and this knife's just kind of... Eh, I didn't do it that good that time. But it's it's almost false shut. I mean, it don't take much to get it closed. My complaint is that if you see right here, you see this this angle here. If you don't try and deploy this knife at that exact angle, it will not open. It will not deploy. Um, so if you got it closed and you're trying to push out, and I'm pushing, it's not going to go. If you're trying to push kind of more up, it won't go. You have to get it exactly at that angle before it will open um and it, it, you know it can be annoying at times when i'm when i'm not really paying attention and i'm just trying to open it real quick i'm like that gum it won't open but but then again you know all you gotta do is get it right and it'll it'll fly right open for you um let's see i think that's probably about it guys um you know, like I said, for, for 40 bucks, you're getting an awesome knife. And I know, you know, I got mine from Blade HQ. That's that's where I do easily 99%, if not 100% of my knife shopping from Blade HQ. Um, I know they sell out quick when they get them. Um, I managed to get mine from them, but they've sold out again already. Uh, they, they just, they fly off the shelves as soon as they come in. And it's easy to understand why. Uh, this is just this is just an awesome knife for what you get um, or for what you pay for it. Uh, you know, so much so that man, if this thing had a better steel, I'd have paid more for it. You know, if this thing had a D2 steel or something like that, I'd have paid you know twice of what I did for it. I'd have paid eighty bucks for it, man. If it had if it had S30V, I'd have paid hundred, hundred ten. You know, this this is just an awesome knife. CRKT might want to, you know, take that into consideration, man. If you could just come out with, you know, versions of these with different steels at different price points, I know I'd pay for it. You know, people that like this probably would too. Oh, one thing I didn't address. It is on a, uh, the, the KVT ball bearing system, which is the, 
the loose bearings in the pivot in there not the not the captured ones inside the washer but this is the loose one so if you ever decide to take yours apart keep that in mind because those things will go flying everywhere um so forty dollars am i happy i bought it absolutely i love this knife would i buy it again if something happens to this one if i lose this one if uh, you know would i buy it again absolutely guys this is a great knife for the price you pay for it and i i highly highly recommend it so hop on over to whatever website you want to get them from like i said i use blade hq they're they're a good reliable source uh you know you can pretty much guarantee you're getting you know you're getting what you pay for when you when you buy from them they're, they're a reputable dealer so uh, that's who i buy from but man if you don't want to go to them go to whoever you want you know but pick you up one of these it's sweet thanks y'all have a good day